Okay, so we're in Apple Motion here and we're gonna have a look at how we create this arrow that writes on and then erases itself, okay? So basically we're gonna start off with a circle, we're gonna look at how you add the arrow to that circle and then how we get this write on effect that makes the arrow grow um, and then disappear. And then we're gonna export that out with the transparency and place it into our Final Cut Pro 10 timeline. So the first step is to go to File and New. We're gonna make a brand new blank motion project. So we're gonna to stick to 29.97 frames per second NTSC for our project here, and we'll click Open. And we're working with a 1280 by 720 pixel project set up here, and that should be fine uh, for our needs um, in our Final Cut Pro project. So the first thing we're gonna do is go ahead and draw the circle. So if we come down to our tools in the center of motion here, we're gonna click and hold and bring up the circle tool. We're gonna draw out a nice ellipse. And then once we've got that drawn, we're gonna edit the ellipse so that we're using just an outline and no fill. So we're gonna turn the fill off here under the shape and style options in the inspector. And then we're gonna turn the outline on and then just increase the width a little of our outline. So it's around 15 pixels wide, okay? Once we've got our circle set up, we need to break it apart so that we can edit it. So we'll come to the geometry for that, where we can convert this circle to points. It's gonna remove any animation that we've already got on that shape when we do this. So be sure that you don't have any animation that you need at that particular point in time. Once we've broken this apart, we can now go ahead and edit the Bezier points on our circle. And your Bezier tool or edit points tool should pop up once you've switched to this format. So we'll go ahead and edit the points. So we're basically gonna add two points either side of this central point and then delete this, this first point. So we're gonna right click on the red line here, add a point, right click here, right click here and add another point, and then click on the first point here, the set control point, and then we're gonna turn this into an open curve, okay? At which point we can then delete this other point so we end up with a nice gap here. So now we're gonna add our arrow to this circle. So we're gonna to come to the style again for our circle, okay? And we're gonna turn the joint modes to square and the end cap to an arrow, okay? And you can see you've got some other options there such as bevel or square as well for those different options. So we're gonna increase the arrow length a little bit and also increase the arrow width so we end up with a nice uh, big arrow. Now we're making this quite big within our motion project so that we can scale it down in Final Cut Pro. So now we have our circle ready, and we just need to add the animation. Before we do that, we're gonna go ahead and just shorten the duration of our group here down to around two seconds, okay? And we'll also change the play range here to around two seconds as well, so that when we export, we can just export that play range and just the frames we need for this particular write-on effect. Okay, so now we're gonna to go to our library. We're gonna jump into our behaviors and we're looking for our shape behaviors, okay? Which is where we have this write-on effect which allows us to draw on a shape or line in Apple Motion. So let's drag this onto the circle. And if we click back on the timeline now and press play, we should notice the arrow drawing on, okay? We've got our playback set to loop, so it's just gonna keep drawing on forever and ever. Okay, so we're gonna change a couple of settings to the write-on options here. So we're gonna jump again to the inspector. We're gonna change it so it has an ease in and an ease out, so ease both, okay? And then we're also gonna change this so that it draws and erases. So the circle appears and then disappears at the same time. So this means that we end up with this kind of effect, okay, where the arrow draws on and then deletes itself, okay? So now we're ready. Our circle is ready and we're ready to export to Final Cut Pro 10. So let's go to the share window. We're gonna to go to export movie and we're gonna export out in the Apple ProRes 4444 format, okay? So now once we've set that, we're gonna to go to the render settings and just check that we've got color plus alpha turned on, okay? That's a real short file. It's gonna be a pretty small file and we can then import that straight into Final Cut Pro 10. So let's press next here. Okay, we're gonna save this as animated 
arrow. Okay, and then we'll jump into Final Cut Pro 10, bring up our finder, and we can now drop this straight onto the timeline. Okay, so you can see here, straight away we've got our arrow on, it's gonna loop and disappear. Okay, so now that we've got that set up, we can do lots of things with it in Final Cut Pro. We can grab the transform tool and change the scale of it. So you can change the scale of it, we can position it as we want it to be positioned, and we can also duplicate it. So we end up, for instance, with arrows that are moving in opposite directions. So now if we hit play, we have arrows on screen that move in opposite directions. Okay, so that's how to create arrows in Apple Motion and then bring them into Final Cut Pro 10 with the transparency so that you can overload them. And we've created a real simple arrow here, but there's no reason why you shouldn't create more complex designs and effects using Apple Motion and then bring those into Final Cut Pro 10. I hope you found that useful. If you have any questions about Apple Motion or Final Cut Pro 10, then just send me a tweet at Ben Housel, and I look forward to seeing you in the next tutorial.